hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to make popular thumbnails like ddg seven funny mike all those youtubers so let's get into the video so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going into actually the google or the safari app i need to go on google to look for a background i accidentally went to pronto but we're going to that after this um so i'm searching for a background um I'm looking for luxury car backgrounds. I think that would be a nice look for this thumbnail because when I think of like DDG, I'm like, oh, oh yeah, he's up there, you know? He's he's very far in his YouTube career and doing big things. So I want a luxury style background. Um, so yeah, um, I chose this one. That one I just saved the red car because I thought that looked really good. Um, and then these are just some other ones. I was trying to see if I could find a rape, but I just settled with what I had. So now I'm going into Superimpose X. I did pay for this app, okay? Um, you can use regular Superimpose if you want, but I just know how to use this one. Um, so I'm going to my photos. I'm just grabbing the photo that I just saved. Um, and then I'm making sure that the size is 16 by 9 because that's the thumbnail size. And yeah so let's get into it i'm gonna press on the plus sign and i'm gonna add a photo image i downloaded three images one of ddg one of seven and one of lala so i have those photos um actually not yet y'all oh my gosh i'm all over the place i was trying to add um like an effect to this background i went for a motion blur and um just a little just subtle very subtle um blurriness and then we're gonna go into the photos so here they are y'all see my whole camera roll and whatnot but yeah i chose this photo because you know you can see clearly like this is ddg i chose mask and then auto mask people and so you know it, it takes out the background and just keeps the person and now i'm just erasing any um extra and i'm also um cleaning it up so it looks you know better nice more professional and yeah just take your time with this and i'm gonna speed it up a bit for this part because i don't want y'all to sit here watching me erase like you know all of this so yeah take your time do the thing and enjoy make sure if y'all are new y'all thumbs up this video because this video is gonna be like 20 minutes long i didn't i tried not to cut out a lot because i know y'all want to see everything so if you watch this whole video you are a real one i appreciate you please watch the whole video <laughs> um but yeah y'all i've been wanting to do this for a while and finally figured it out so here we are so now i'm done erasing it i'm pressing transform and i'm gonna move him to the side more to the side and then later on you're going to see that i'm going to move him to the middle but um yeah this is what we got right now so next we're going to our next photo layer we're going to add in lala and i actually got this photo from instagram i'm pretty sure i think i screenshot an instagram photo and we're just auto masking the background again and then i'm erasing the background restoring some making sure to clean it up all that like i said before so we're gonna speed it up and yes if you're watching this video make sure that you screenshot a clip post it on your instagram tag me so that i can repost you because we are reposting all tags on instagram so you'll see that on the screen to do that and yeah i appreciate y'all all right so i think we're done with her so we're gonna move her to the middle using the transform tool and then i'm gonna move the i'm gonna move her um behind um ddg because i don't like that little crop piece you see but yeah that looks better all right and our last person we're adding is seven um so here we are right here and we're gonna do mask auto mask background and or auto mask people and then erasing all those little parts that I didn't get and yeah just keep doing that and do that for all your photos whatever photos you have in your thumbnail all 
Alright, this one wasn't too bad because it actually um, got a lot of it. So, yeah, this tool is very helpful. So, make sure you download this app, Superimpose X. All the apps are going to be in the description box. All the apps are going to be on the screen. So, you will have everything that you need to do this. Okay, we still have a little bit more here. And then I'm going to move her to the right side. And then y'all see that's that this is when I'm gonna decide to like, you know, switch it around. But yeah. All right, so now we have all of that erased. So now we're gonna use the transform tool. I moved Lala over and I also flipped her photo because I wanted it, it looked better like that, I felt like. So I just used the flip tool and I flipped her the other way like that, yeah. So yeah, now you got the two girls on the side, you got DG in the middle and yeah, that I like how this looks. So next, we are going to be adding an outline. You'll see a lot of like the photos are outlined like in white. So you're gonna just go ahead, oops, I forgot his hand got erased. But um, yeah, so you're gonna go to editor and press, which one? Oh yeah, tools and then press mask outline. And make sure it's like a thin outline, not too thick. You want to look, you know, want to look good. So yeah, just a little thin outline of white outline and it looks, like this so we're done with that we got the photo base down now we're gonna go ahead and do our text and I'm going into Fonto and you're gonna have to download an image of a transparent transparent background for this part so I just have the transparent background that's why you can't see it and now we're adding in our text and this font is going to be on the screen it's that Fortnite font that y'all see everywhere so yeah and make sure that it's in all caps so that you know it looks like how it's supposed to look so here is the font on the screen and i'm doing a gradient effect because i see that a lot um and then i do the, i duplicate the clip duplicate duplicate the text so we can make it 3d and then i curve it to about six or seven if you slide over that's how you find the curve took me a while to figure that out um so yeah so i'm placing the gradient um up, um in front of the um other text so it looks like a 3d effect but like you see a lot of the thumbnails look like on the text but i believe for theirs they use final not final cut um they use photo photoshop yeah so that's how they get to do that 3d effect um but this is how I know how to do it on the phone if you're using your phone to make thumbnails like I do. So this one I'm making pink um, and I'm making it the horizontal gradient and we're making the background so we can do we can have the 3D effect. Wow y'all I just realized that there's actually a 3D effect already there. I'm about to try that. Next to the curve it's a 3D. I don't know why I've never tried that but I just realized that's there but anyways this is what we got then we're gonna save it make sure you save it as a png image and there is your text all right so now we're gonna go back into super impose you're gonna press add a photo um layer and then you're gonna add in that text and you're gonna press your transform tool to adjust the size and yeah i have it like this all right so now i'm adding in these images so this is a overlay i searched for a hundred and what did i search for let me look at it real quick it says i think i searched for like 180 minute overlay 
camera overlay um, I'm gonna put what I searched here on the screen and so you're gonna make sure you fit it to the size and yeah it looks like this I don't know why I pressed transform that that was whatever I pressed I didn't mean to press that but now I'm going over to the effects because I want to add like a glitch thing to it So yeah, so now we're adding in another photo layer. I just moved it down because I didn't want it to be in front of the photos. Um, I'm adding this. I searched for Fortnite speed lines overlay. You're going to make sure that you do blend mode. Make sure it's on, um, what's that called? Screen. And then I moved it down so it's behind all of the images, not in front of them. We go to effects and we choose zoom blur. Now we're adding in another overlay. So this one is a sunlight streak overlay or background. I searched for this on Google. I'm just adjusting it so it's like this. And then we're gonna use blend mode and we're going to use, over, no, we're gonna use screen again and then move all the way to the bottom. So it looks like this and yeah. So we have that. And now I want to add like some shadow, like colored shadows and some emojis. So first I'm going to go ahead and make sure that all the layers are looking good and go to the ed editor. And I was thinking of adding another effect to the background, but then I was like, no, I'm just gonna, you know, color in the background so that it has some different dimension to it. So I went to, um, Editor. I don't know why I keep playing around with all these bit, all these buttons, but I went to editor and then I chose brush and I'm choosing the paint one and I just chose, no, why am I clicking in all these other stuff? I'm going to brush and paint, like I said, and then choose one of the brush brushes and then you're going to press settings and choose the color. And then when you choose the color, you're going to color some of the parts, like the backgrounds. And I'm going to color them like pink, pink, pinky purple, um, light pink purple. And yeah, so here we go. And I should have adjusted the brush size to make it a little bit bigger. So I don't have to be coloring as much, but it's fine. It still looks fine. So yeah. And if you wanted to, you could even color the whole background another color if you don't want orange. But I'm not doing that here. So now I'm going to merge layers down because um, I want to add in another layer. And I've already exceeded the amount of layers I can have on here. So make sure you be careful which um, layers you put together so you don't mess up the image. Um, so now I'm adding in emojis. Just search for the emoji you want and search for PNG so that it's transparent. And if it's not transparent, you can use an app called Background Eraser to get rid of the background. So here is the emoji I'm using. I put it to the back. I press um, filter and I press um, distort. No, not distort. I choose um, effects and then I choose the, I go between zoom blur and motion blur. I'm going to use motion blur for this one and zoom blur for the next emoji and yeah so this is how it's going to look and I'm adding in another emoji after I um, merge another layer together so that I can add one more um, yeah like that adding one more adding in the surprise emoji or the shocked emoji um, and I'm putting this behind over on the other side you just use your fingers to like um, zoom in and stuff so yeah put that behind and this one I use the zoom blur in it and yeah so it's like this this looks like a bomb thumbnail right now y'all and I do make thumbnails too just a little self promo you can hit me up on my Instagram my graphics Instagram in the description box so yeah and they're not free either so please don't think they're free nothing is free okay um 
now we're into pixart because i'm going to put an effect on it go to fx go to hdr and yeah so that looks just like how they be making them so i just un unsharpened it a little bit and then when i'm done i'm gonna press save and download and the last thing that we need to do is add the text so to add the text we go to the website wigflip.com okay once you get to wigflip.com you are going to type into the text box so you're going to type whatever it is i didn't know what i should put i was trying to figure out a caption like something that is said um with these three youtubers but i don't know so i just put here we go so um i put that press submit and then you're going to click on the image I accidentally click on something else but you're going to click on the on the image and then it'll say download um and then once you do that you're going to click on that little downloads button press the arrow and press save image and it'll, it'll save automatically as a png so go into fonto Press on the camera, press photo albums, click on the thumbnail we just made, press done, click on those three lines, press on your photo and choose the text box speech bubble we made, increase the size to how you want it to be, tilt it so it looks, you know, it goes better with the thumbnail and press that three lines again, add item, press the square and make sure it's white change the color to white and now i'm just adjusting the size so that it can fit in between that text bubble that i made because i want it to be in the same text as the font um text that's a font i want it to be in the same font as the text um so add text and then put whatever you want it to say i just put the same caption oh no i didn't i put first of all First of all, yeah, that's what I put. Um, and then I'm gonna make it black. And that will be it, y'all. I could have added this first and then did the filter, but um, you know, it is what it is. But that is it, y'all, for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, both of my Instagrams. Leave a comment down below, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.